Hello, and welcome back to our 74th Annual Hunger Games. I'm Caesar Flickerman, reporting to you live from the arena. Today we have a special guest joining us from District 12, Effie Trinket. Thanks for being here, Effie. Thank you, Caesar. I'm so happy to be here. Do you like my hair today? No, it's almost good as mine. So far, 14 young tributes have lost their lives in the games. Let's look back on the pre-game interviews of some of the surviving tributes. Hello, I'm Kato. From the looks of it, I'm going to be the winner of this year's Hunger Games. I am by far the strongest and most skilled of any of the other tributes. So look out, because this year, I'm going to be the winning this thing for District 1. Hi, my name is Earl. I am not at all excited for the games. When they called my name for the reaping, I instantly knew I was going to die. But things wouldn't be so bad with my new friend, Cadence, to support me. I really enjoyed these next two. They're my favorite. I know. What a great couple. Thanks to my training, of course. Hello, I'm Katniss. People say it's weird that I volunteered at the reaping. I was the first in 50 years or so. I just did this to save my sister Prim when her name was called because she would never survive in the games. So I volunteered. I hope to I survive longer than she would. Hi, I'm Pizza. I'm the coolest and best looking guy here. I know you lovely ladies out there might be interested in me, but I'm not single. I've been in love for quite a while, but she didn't know I was alive till the reaping. And now she's here with me. Four wonderful tributes. But will one of them be our next Hunger Games winner? Let's get up to date with what's happening in the arena. Show us where the tributes are now. Last I heard, Katniss dropped a tractor jacket's nest on the career tributes. Right you are, Effie. Let's see how Katniss is doing now. Lucky you had the sense to pull the stingers out, or you'd be a lot worse. Do my neck. Do my cheek. I got something for that. You have good sponsors. Have you gotten any yet? No. Don't worry. Watch. The closer you get to the end, the more people will realize how clever you are. You weren't joking about wanting me for an ally. No, I meant it. Okay, it's a deal. Aw, how sweet. I hope her burns get better. I know, but let, let's look at some rather unfriendly business. Right you are, Caesar. Here's Cato and Peta, two of the career tributes. Peta! Hallucinations, they're getting worse. Why did you let her go? She's the enemy. Because I care for her. She's going to die sometime. Why not then? Wait a minute. If you know she's going to die, then how, then how come you're so worried about if she's alive or not? You're afraid, aren't you? I'm not afraid. I just want one last thing to worry about. You are afraid. I can see it in your eyes. You're worried that cat. This might kill you. What are you doing? Ow! <laughs> now, now lay there and think about why you let her go, lover boy. Ow. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Poor Peta. Even I want to send him something. We'll see what happens next after these short messages. Keep watching to find out what happens next on The Hunger Games. And, and may, may the odds be forever, forever in your favor. favor.